Good afternoon, Auburn High School parents and guardians. This is Jeff Gardner, Principal of Auburn High. It has been a most interesting day. It is January 4th. We started the day out to the morning thinking we're going to start school on time. It then turned into a two hour late start. And as you guys were probably hustling and bustling and getting ready for the school day and the work day, word came out that we have a school closure. Um, to just give you a quick status on that, I don't know what tomorrow's going to bring, but I'm hoping just a typical normal day at school. It's really kind of weather dependent. Uh, one thing I did notice as I was driving to school, I live in the lowlands, I'm not up high, but the roads were pretty tough. So I can't imagine what it was like for some of you that, were, that live at elevation. So uh, the roads were definitely treacherous. Um, the reason I'm reaching out to you today is because today could be a really great opportunity for some of our students, maybe some of your students, to kind of get going on their high school uh, and beyond plan. Um, I put together a little slideshow. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my camera off. And in no way, shape or form, am I trying to be popular with students right now? As a matter of fact, I'm probably gonna make a few of them angry with me, but you know what, so be it. Um, what you have on your screen right now is the latest update we've received on how um, often or how well or how much our students have been interacting with what we call Zello. So parents, remember that word Zello because you could ask your student tonight, today, this weekend, how's Zello going or how's your Zello? And they're probably not even gonna remember what you're talking about or not even know. And then you could say, well, it's your graduation requirement, it's your high school and beyond plan. Okay, for the past few years, we've used something called career cruising. And there might be some parents out there that remember that, or maybe they had older students with career cruising. And we went through a change last spring and last summer, and we moved to a new uh, platform that's called Zello. We had students involved. We had all kinds of people involved. And to a student, when I do talk to students, they do like this better. This is better than the old career cruising. So this should actually be, I don't want to say easier, like things are easy because nothing's easy. Everything's going to take require work, but it's more compatible to what our kids need. And it's taking them through basically the same type of what we call milestone activities or just Zello activities to help them formulate the best plan while they're in high school as they're working on looking inside to what their interests are and getting themselves prepared for that day when they graduate or right after they graduate. So what I'm showing you here is some data that came from the district. I just got this today, it kind of got me fired up a little bit, kind of not real happy uh, about this data. Um, I'm gonna go to the next slide because I'm kind of bre breaking this slide in half. And this is more of the, the, the graph view of it. If you look at our ninth graders, in terms of lessons completed in Zello, um, it says they've completed about 75. I don't think the numbers really show me that. I think this is really a nice graph. It's really nice because it's being nice to our kids. It's saying, you know, three quarters of the kids are doing a good job. But I'm here to tell you, you got to look beyond the graphs. Tenth graders a little bit lower. Eleventh graders even lower. And our seniors, who are the closest to graduation, they're the ones that have done the least amount of dabbling in Zello. Right now we've had... Mm, I'm going to say three or four lessons. Each of the lessons, we give the kids 25 minutes on Thursday, 25 minutes on Friday. Um, and they should be able to complete them in that amount of time. I mean, even if they really take their time and reflect and answer the questions and do the activities, they should be able to get it done. The good thing is they have access to Zello 24-7 as long as they have, you know, um, can get to the Internet. So hopefully they can do that from home like perhaps on a snow day. This is a Washington State graduation requirement that the students complete their Zello lessons that we're pushing out to them in Troy time, but lo and behold, they're being pushed out to them anywhere they can find a Wi-Fi signal. All right, of equal importance, this is the opportunity for students to explore their interests in what is possible at high school and beyond, hence high school and beyond plan. And, and kids across the country, they're doing this. Not every school allows students to have access to it during the school day. There's some districts out there that tell the kids, here's the link, go. You do it on your own time. We have supported time. Our kids are with their teachers, their Troy time teachers for 50 minutes every month, basically, to, to just work only on Zello. Okay, we use Troy time for lots of things. But this is probably 
I don't want to say one thing's more important than the other. Everything we do for our kids is important. Everything they should be doing for themselves is important. But this is one of those things that has a graduation requirement label on it. Okay. So I think that adds a different kind of value to it. Um, and, and use this to your own discretion and, and uh, however you need to use this tool, folks. Okay. The next thing I'm going to show you are the numbers, which this one really kind of has me worried. So we do have from our ninth grade students, if you look at that, we have about 430 ninth grade students and three of them, it's probably not even 1%. They're being nice. These are nice graphs, uh, nice data points. Uh, three of them have completed all of their lessons thus far. 300 of our 430 students are in progress. So they might be one or two sentences away from finishing up their Zello lessons for the semester. This is what has me worried. We have 128 ninth graders that haven't started. And you can see how the numbers, when I work down the screen, go to over, you know, more than half of our seniors that haven't even started the Zello lessons. So like I said, today is January 4th. It's a snow day. It's now time for many Trojans to get going on Zello on their high school and beyond plan. Attached to this is a 0.25 credits for semester one. We're going to do the same thing for semester two. The kids are going to be involved with different lessons to kind of get them prepared for different stages of high school. And every semester they can earn a 0.25 credit. Okay. That's important because we only offer 24 credits in classes and kids need 24 credits to graduate. So if they have any slippage anywhere, if they fail an elective class here or there, hopefully not. These can actually kind of fill some of those holes for elective credit. So this, for some of our students, this is like, they're getting um, double value out of that. So, so my plea to you is to help us help our students. They need to get um, motivated. They need to get going. They need to be inspired. Um, it's not a time to, um, I guess, they did be disappointed in them, but it's a time to kind of get them fired up and get them excited about high school and about what high school can do for them for the next step in life. And I tell kids all the time, it's so much better once you're out of high school, once you go to college, once you go to that job, if you go to the military, everything builds on the previous experience, but our kids have to put in the time to have a great experience with Zello, and that's why I'm reaching out to you. So this is Jeff Gardner, principal of Auburn High School, um, asking for the help of all of our parents, all of our guardians out there, and I'm hoping I can equip you with enough information so that you can have those courageous parent conversations with your students and let them know that we're all in this and you're counting on them to be successful here. So the access points are there. They've got all the information. Like I said, you'll freak them out just by saying, how's your Zello going? Um, but do it and get that con conversation going, especially if you have a senior, because those conversations are going to go from Zello to other graduation requirements, to cap and gown questions, to graduation questions. So really get that dialogue going as soon as possible. Today is a snow day. I would imagine many parents are working today, but uh, your students, unless they had to go to work, because um, some do that if they're not at school, um, today's a great day to play some catch up and these lessons don't take that long. So anyway, um, I know I'm being nice about it, but I know for some of our students, this doesn't feel very nice, but they just need to get on the ball and get going. Okay. Have a great day, everybody. Hopefully we see everybody back in school on the 5th. Thank you.